She can lay up there. I mean, maybe when we get out a little bit, she can lay naked. I don't know about that. <laughs> Only if she has the camera with her so she can film it for me. As you can see today, a little bit of white caps out here, and we decided to um, we decided to overcome our fear from last weekend when we were out here and it didn't work out too well. We ended up having to turn around at the bridge. So this weekend we're coming out here and we're gonna force ourselves to learn. Because guess what? It's not always gonna be good weather, and we're gonna need to know how to sail when it's not. So we're coming out here getting us a little bit of practice, overcoming our fears, and working up our skill level a little bit. Now we'll just start off small, just put up the main, see how it goes, we'll tack a couple times, we'll try to heel over a little bit, and then tack back, maybe jive a couple times, and then we'll um, we'll take it from there. And if we feel comfortable with that, we'll take it from there, and we'll go ahead and maybe we'll take out a little bit of the Genoa. If not, then we'll just stick with that. You know, it's baby steps because this is all about safety. And we want to make sure that not only are we being safe out here, we just, we don't want to like damage the boat. We don't want to hurt ourselves. We don't want to hurt anybody else. We don't want to run aground. We don't want to run into anything. And we don't want to break anything. So yeah, so I got Captain Maddie at the helm. She's going to be giving me instructions. I'm going to be our lineman today. I'm going to be crew. So we're going to do it first for a little bit. I'm going to go up there and put on my safety gear, my harness and everything, because it is a little choppy out here. And yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Get oh. ready for the Caribbean. Yep, we got to get ready, because I mean, it's not like it's going to be perfect weather all the time, and we got to go places. <laughs> all right, talk to you guys in a bit. Babe, don't die. Now, like we said, we planned on taking all the lessons we learned from our last endeavor out here and using them on this one. So, let's start with lesson one. Lesson one, make sure you continue to communicate at all times about everything. You may think something may be insignificant, a loose line, a loose sail, something in the water, you know, current change, wind change, anything like that. But it's actually really important to make sure that you're constantly communicating with each other what's going on. All right. So we are under sail, motors off. We're just kind of chilling. Going across the bay, got a uh, got a Captain Maddie up there. So I am gonna make us some lunch. So we can kind of snack away a little bit. Seems to be going pretty well. I mean, we were worried about the wind and everything, but it is. It's just practice and it's just communication, and um, we're doing good with it. So let's eat.
<laughs> now we all want to do our part while we're out there and you know unless you're the captain guess what you don't make the rules so just remember rule number three the captain dictates how much sail to use don't try to pull out too much sail don't try to use too little don't try to trim them unless the captain tells you what to do or unless you see something that's a danger don't mess with it Now, one of the things that kind of bit us in the last trip was we weren't trimming our sails appropriately. So that leads us to number four. Make sure you trim your sails appropriately. And you know what? This is this does take practice and getting the feel for your boat. Luckily, like I said before, Madeline kind of keeps on top of things and she has a great feel for what the boat's doing and which way the wind's blowing. And I kind of compliment that with being able to adjust the sails to something that she would like. Something to make sure that you always keep in mind is that the wind is always going to change. And you know what? It changed just as quick in the opposite direction as it did for us last time. It was about 15 to 20 knots and then just out of nowhere it kind of died and then there was nothing. But the good part about that is, is that now we just kind of get to chill and relax the rest of the afternoon. And feeling the satisfaction that we overcame our fears, took what we learned last time and we're able to apply it now. So apparently Maddie said she found her spot and she wants to get a nice cushion for up there. She said she's going to live there now. So yeah, looks nice and comfy. She can lay up there. I mean, maybe when we get out a little bit, she can lay naked. <laughs> Only if she has the camera with her so she can film it for me. <laughs> Just a lazy day out here. We are going a whopping 1.4 knots. We pulled in our jib because we thought we were gonna we thought we were gonna call it a day, but it seems like we're just gonna fiddle around a little bit. Just cruise around. Very light wind. So maybe five knots maybe. So we're doing all right. Oh, sorry, we're on 1.7 knots now. So yeah, looks like we beat the storm earlier, beat the heavy winds earlier. So yeah. There's Madeline over there waiting because we're waiting for the haul out. Yeah.
Thank mm-hmm. you.